The Sigma personality has been idolized in recent times by the media and every introvert is now trying to identify as a Sigma. The truth is, the stereotype surrounding the Sigma personality does not manifest exactly the same in every Sigma. Not because you identify as Sigma, you will automatically become successful, super confident, or better still, become that which you so admire about the Sigma personality. The idealized Sigma and the everyday Sigma are two completely different beings. Within the Sigma category, every Sigma is uniquely endowed. That is why very few Sigma females are successful compared to their male counterparts and to the theorized success rate of the Sigma personality. Most Sigma females lack the mental savviness to push their dream financial success into a reality because they usually get stuck in the idea stage where they spend most of their time planning, thinking and rethinking the outcome. Sigma females are known for their vivid imaginations that can either work for them or against them. For the majority of Sigma females whose imagination is working against them, it is because they are unable to break free from their imagination and connect with reality. They get stuck in the pleasurable fantasies created by their imaginations about the imaginary successes of their ideas. Because of how vivid their imaginations are, their brains may interpret the realness in their imaginations as something that just happened, not knowing that it is an illusion created by their minds to shield them from the foreseeable mental pain that will ensue if their ideas does not succeed. This protective mechanism is the real reason why few Sigma females are successful. Once you conceive an exciting idea, the idea is associated with a trigger that excites the brain's reward center to positively reward you each time you think of the idea as a way to encourage and motivate you to implement that idea. Because unsuccessful Sigmas spend too much time thinking and rethinking their ideas, they tend to enjoy the thrills from the dopamine secretion by their brain reward center each time they think about the idea. So instead of looking for means and strategies to implement the idea, they prefer to sit and fantasize about the idea. And when the dopamine associated with the idea is exhausted, they abandon the idea and use logic to defend themselves to move on to the next idea and this vicious cycle is started all over again. Female Sigmas are excellent planners who can envisage future outcomes. An advantage in the sense that it allows successful Sigma males to plan ahead of their competition and predict future trends. But it is a distraction to the lazy Sigma female because they tend to dwell in the big picture of how the final outcome will look like and forget to put in the work that is required to achieve such ginormous amount of success they sit and think of. Unsuccessful Sigma females tend to live in the sanctuary provided by the big picture where they use wishful thinking instead of critical and deductive thinking. Wishful thinking is spending time planning and hoping that you are going to be successful without putting in the required amount of work simply because you think you already know how the ending will look like. Ideas take time to mature and what Sigma males don't do is become idea prostitutes like unsuccessful Sigma females. They don't get carried away by the many ideas they get and they don't go chasing after every idea that excites them. They know what it takes to achieve success and like any other Sigma, they can see the final outcome even before starting. Successful Sigma males don't live in the future like unsuccessful Sigma females, they live in the now.